Hello everyone. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to use GEdit Editor and Nano Editor. GEdit it's a powerful graphical user interface text editor. It's the default text editor of a GNOME desktop environment. There are some features of using GEdit Editor, for example, highlighting syntax of programming languages, and do redo, search and replace fonts and colors. If I would like to open up a file in gedit, simple, I just can type just the command gedit, then the name of the file, file1.txt, so we can create a new text file, or I can just type the command gedit after I finish typing, for example, here, welcome to rel8, and here, hello, Word. Then if I would like to save the file, I can hit the button save here. If I would like to delete, it's simple. It's uh, a graphical user interface text editor. I would like to find more option about the gedit editor here. We can find this is the option that we can use for the gedit editor. Now I'm going to save the file. File.txt. I'm going to call this one file one. The txt. Save. Close the file then ls-l as we can see over here this is the text file that we just have created now i'm going to open uh, show the content of the text file as we can see here this is the content inside this text file now let's move on to the second editor the nano editor it's a very friendly and popular command linux text editor and it's it's really simple to use and if I would like to open up a file in nano simple I just type the command nano and then the name of the file for example file one the txt hit enter and as you can see here this is the nano editor if I would like to exit I uh, gonna hit control X so to exit the file now I'm going to create a new file nano just I'm going to type the nano command hit enter I'm going to type nano editor it's a very friendly text editor I'm going to just maybe type welcome to nano editor uh, also here hello world and after after I'm done writing if I would like to save the file so I can hit the comma uh, the button control then O in order to save or write to the file it's going to give me an option as we can see here file name to to write and I'm going to call this one file to the txt hit enter now uh, we saved the content and we have created it a new text file if I would like to get help I'm going to press control then as we can see over here control G as we can see if this is the help page of the nano editor if I would like to close the help page control X as we can see over here this is the if everything like if you're gonna use any of those letters we have to use the control before those letters for example if I would like to move let me move the cursor here now if I would like to move the cursor to the end of the file so I'm going to hit button control E as you can see we move the cursor to the end now I'm going to move it to the beginning so control A if I would like to scroll to the next page I know that I don't have like an next page here but for 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 your information control Y if I would like to scroll to the previous page control V if I would like to search or find some text so I'm going to hit control W I'm going to search for the word for example nano hit enter as you can see this is the cursor move to the first 
search or the first word text that we looked for now let's move on if I would like to delete the character at the cursor position so here I'm going to delete the end so control D now if I would like to cut the current line so control K and I go down here if I would like to paste the line so I'm going to hit the button control then U as we can see here if I would like to read from another file at the cursor position so I'm going to hit control R then file one the txt so I'm going to bring the content and the file one the txt to the file to the txt hit enter as we can see here this is the content of the file one the txt now if I would like to replace a word or a term so I'm going to hit control then the the backslash as we can see search or replace in nano so I'm going to search for the word a n o then hit enter now it said replace with so I'm going to type nano like that all of them are uppercase hit enter it's gonna give me the option right now replace this in instance is it yes or no if you want to do it all so just press a don't press control a just a the letter a as you can see over here we have replaced the word to uppercase nano now if I would like to go to a specific line so I'm going to hit control then the question mark as you can see here, enter line number colon number so I'm going to move the cursor to line 3 hit enter as we can see over here so move the cursor to line 3 I can do it for example to line 10 as you can see here we move the cursor to line 10 that's conclude our session Thank you and see you in the next lesson.